hello, this is going to be a 200 test, Q&A test for the 200 class. Plaintiff attorney is Mr. Detmers, D-E-T-M-E-R-S. Defense attorney is Mr. Turner, T-U-R-N-E-R. -E Again, plaintiff, Mr. Detmers, D-E-T-M-E-R-S. And defense is Mr. Turner, T-U-R-N-E-R. Okay, this test will start with defense attorney. Ready? So she got the assignments. She sent them to you, correct? What was your aunt's name? Jennifer Spears, J-E-N-N-I-F-E-R, Spears, S-P-E-A-R-S. -E okay, while you were a caregiver, were you ever injured on the job? No. Okay, while you were either a firefighter, crew member, or a general firefighter, were you ever injured on the job? No, never. I reported a shoulder injury for a 24-foot ladder, that was it, and it was an informal, but it was never, and when, a claim. Okay, and when was that? I don't know, I don't remember the date, but it was during my time as working. Can you estimate the date? I don't remember. Okay, did you file a claim? No. Did you see a doctor? No. And what was the nature of the injury? It was just a 24-foot ladder fell on my shoulder. Did you take time off of work? No. Does, did your shoulder heal completely? Correct, yes. Did you remain with any residual effects of that injury? No. Okay, outside of work, have you ever been injured in a car accident? Yes. Can you tell me when, if, did you have more than one car accident? One accident. Okay, let's talk about the car accident. When was the accident? 2001. And were you a driver or a passenger? I was a driver. And where were you going? On the 76. And where were you going? To work. And that would have been a caregiver job? Correct. At that time? Correct. And were you coming home or some other place? I was coming from home. And what time was it? It was about 7 a.m. And what happened? I just got rear-ended. And how were you rear-ended? Can you explain the circumstances? It, the traffic was fully stopped and the truck didn't stop fast enough, so he hit me in the back and that was the gist of it. Was your car incapacitated or could you drive it? It was drivable. Were you injured? No. Did you? Your Honor, hold on. His original question was, were you ever injured in an automobile accident? And you said yes. He said how many? And you said just one. And now you just told him you weren't injured in the accident. Did I hear something wrong here? No, yes. So were you listening to his questions? Yes. Then why did you even say you had a car accident then? Because you weren't injured. You volunteered information you didn't have to. Well, it was an accident. But he asked if you were injured. There is a difference. Okay, I need a break now. Certainly, let's take a short break. Let the record reflect that we've taken a brief break so that counsel could speak with his client. Actually, so she could go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. So that's okay, though. We're back on the record. R okay, now, we were discussing the 2001 car accident. Were you injured in that car accident? No. Okay, and did you lose any time from work because of the car accident? No. And did you see any physician or a medical professional? No. As a result of the accident? No. Okay, have you had any other car accidents? No. Were you ever a passenger in a car accident? No. Were you a, in a car accident in 2010? 2010, not that I remember. So were you not in any collision in 2010? Not that I can remember. A fender bender, but okay, no. If he's asking you that question, he has something over there that's giving him reason to ask. What city council? Maybe it will jog her memory. I don't have the city in front of me. Were you, were you ever in a vehicle four years ago that was involved in an accident? Or did you own a vehicle four years ago that may have been involved in an accident where you lent a car to somebody? My truck was, yes. You own a truck. I do. And what kind of a truck is that? It's a Tundra. Did you own it in 2010? Yes. Okay, did you lend it to anybody? Anybody drove your truck that had a accident? Yes. Can you tell us who was in an accident with your truck? David DeWeese. And who is David DeWeese? My ex-boyfriend. 
And did he borrow your truck in 2010 and have an accident? I don't remember. Okay. If your truck was in an accident in 2010 and you were not driving it, would you have known if somebody had an accident? Was there damage to your truck? The license plate was knocked off. I remember that. Did anybody sue you for the accident? No. Okay, well, thank you. Okay, who was your vehicle insurer? AAA. Currently or back then, counsel? Currently. I don't know. I'm not sure. I think AAA. And for how long have you had AAA? I don't remember. I've had them for a while. I just got asked that question by somebody else. I don't remember. Was your truck insured with AAA? Yeah, my truck has always been insured with AAA. That's what he wants to know. Okay, did you have any other vehicle insurer? I've had Allstate, I've had Geico, but not at the same time you had AAA? No. Okay, okay, all right. Have you ever been in an accident on any other means of transportation such as a bus, a bike, a motorbike, a boat, an all-terrain vehicle, any kind of accident? No. How are you currently supporting yourself? My work comp. Have you ever applied for disability of any kind? Just through my work comp. Any social security or unemployment disability? No. Have you ever applied for any kind of disability in the past? No. Okay, and have you applied for state disability at all? I have. Work comp, right? No. Stay cool here. He's work comp. He's state fund workers comp insurance. They only pay for a limited amount of time. As a state employee, she would not have been qualified for SDI, would she? No. Then she didn't have it. Okay, I just answered my own question. There you go. I just wondered if any, at any other point in your history, have you had any application for other kinds of disability? No. Okay, have you ever had any hospital stays? Other than for his injury counsel? Other than for this injury. Fibroid removal, that's it. Hospital stays. Overnight, were you in an inpatient in a hospital overnight? No. Never? Okay, wait. Fibroids is outpatient, wasn't it? Clarify that. Outpatient surgery only. Okay, when, when would that have been? I don't remember the day. Give us your best estimate. Estimate? What decade? Well, I want to say maybe 08, 2008. There you go. Best estimate is 2008. Told you there are no wrong answers here. That was, you say, a fibroid removal? Correct. What was the medical facility where you had that done? I wanted to say, I think it was Kaiser. What city is that in? Oh, I'm sorry, at Kaiser in North County, San Diego. I believe that's off of 76, isn't it? That is correct. Right, two points, counsel, continue. You mentioned that your last date of employment was February of 2011, correct. Why did you stop working on that day? I got injured. What was the nature of your injury? Well, to be clear, her injury date is January 1, but she continued to work for five weeks or so after the injury. Light duty. Okay, and what was the nature of your injury? My nature of the injury was I torqued my cartilage out of my right ankle. And what were you doing when you hurt the cartilage in your right ankle? Mopping and mopping up a fire and fighting a fire in Irvine. I'm sorry, you said mopping up a fire? Correct. What does that mean? It means cleaning up all the debris after the fire and just extinguishing what's left. So when you say mopping as a layperson, that's not necessarily with a mop and a bucket and water. No, it's cleaning up. Okay, so basically just means cleaning up the fire debris and, uh-huh, and you said the location was Irvine? Irvine, correct. Okay, and where, what type of facility was the fire at? It was residential. Was it a home? Uh-huh. Okay, so this was after the fire. You were cleaning up debris, and how did you? You said tore the cartilage in your right ankle. Well, I was in soot above up to my calves. You were in what? Soot, in black soot, and the garage, the dwelling part of the house, was still on fire. So we were outside on the where the garage just demolished and burned, and I had an inch and three-quarter hose pulling it around, trying to get it over where it was still kindling the fire on the house. And when I did that, because there was so much black soot, there was some type of metal bracket under the blackness that my structure boot got caught in. And when I took that inch and three-quarter hose and torqued it, to pull it to go around this furnace, my whole right side torqued, and that's when I stopped and I said, I told my captain what happened. You tore more than just your ankle. Didn't you hurt other parts? Yeah, I torqued my knee and my back and your hip. Correct. So when you say you torqued it, you mean you twisted it in a bad way? Correct. 
and you said it was your right knee, and I think Mr. Detmers and you just added that it was also your knee, back, and hip. Is that correct? Yes, he did clarify that. I torqued my right knee, my right hip, and torqued my whole foot, right foot. And what about your back? Was that your entire back or just the lower back? The lower right side lumbar. And when you torqued your body, I'll say at this point to encompass all those body parts, did you feel pain? Yes. Okay, and were you able to move? Yes, somewhat. Were you able to continue your job at that moment? No. And you mentioned you told your captain? Correct. And who was your captain at the time? I don't remember his name. Okay, do you remember the date of the injury? It was January 1st, 2011. And the location was in Irvine? I don't remember the location. Or the street even? Do you remember the street? Uh-uh, no, I don't remember. Okay, but it was? No. A residential fire? Correct. And after you finished mopping up the fire, did you go back to the station house or did you go home? What happened after you torqued your foot, knee, hip, and back? We got dispatched back to the station. And when you got back to the station, what did you do? I took off my boot and then from there I couldn't walk anymore. My foot was huge and swollen, so I waited for the BC, which is the battalion chief, to take me to urgent care. Okay, where is the station located at? It was station 15, is off Lemon Springs Road in Irvine. While you were at the fire, did you report your injury to your captain? Yes, I reported it immediately. And you don't, you said you don't remember his name? No, I think his name is Efferton. Captain Hefferton? Yes, that is correct. Thank you. Your Honor, may we take a break? I need to make a phone call. Okay, we have a word list. All right, so Jennifer Spears is spelled out for you in the transcript. We have Tundra, capital T-U-N-D-R-A. Kaiser, capital K-A-I-S-E-R. David DeWeese, capital D-A-V-I-D. DeWeese, capital D-E, capital W-E-E-S-E. -E -E. There's no space there in DeWeese. North County, capital N-O-R-T-H, space, capital C-O-U-N-T-Y. San Diego, capital S-A-N, space, capital D-I-E-G-O. Triple A is capital A, capital A, capital A, no periods. Geico, capital G-E-I-C-O. Allstate, capital A-L-L-S-T-A-T-E. Uh, the Highway 76 is just 76, the two numbers. Irvine, capital I-R-V-I-N-E. Uh, S-D-I is capital S, capital D is in dog, I, capital I, no periods. Uh, Lemon Springs Road, capital L-E-M-O-N. Springs, capital S-P-R-I-N-G-S, -S, capital R on road. Captain Efferton, capital C-A-P-T-A-I-N, and Efferton, capital E-F-F-E-R-T-O-N. And that concludes the word list and the 200 test. Good luck.